All right, guys, so I've had this Halo 9 unit for about, shoot, I want to say almost six months, probably. I'm not exactly sure, but I want to do some pros and cons on this head unit because I am getting rid of it and I'm getting a Pioneer. Uh... I want to start with the cons. My first con is that it doesn't have auto illumination. So you technically cannot turn on your headlights and have this dim automatically. It's supposed to have a sensor here on the bottom that detects light, kind of like your phone screen, but it's not very accurate. So you got to go into the settings kind of adjust the brightness uh, maybe it's better in other vehicles but in this one it's not that great as you can see i can turn the headlights on nothing happens that's because that's just how this alpine works uh, but i mean i do like that it has an illumination light down here so it kind of shines down here when you're driving at night kind of gives you like a accent glowing but another con is you're not able to change the color of the buttons down here um, you can change this color up here the blue you can get green red blue aqua it's like five basic colors but uh it's all right i mean Nowadays, you can get head units that change this. Uh, you can change that. You can even change the background display uh, through your phone without having to set up a USB. Also, another thing is uh, the resolution. I think is I think it's 480p or something like that. It's it's not the best quality when it comes to actually. Uh, projecting a picture or a video uh, but other than that my only other con it is pretty quick I mean you can see it's it's pretty responsive but sometimes it does freeze up on me uh, and when you disconnect your phone what I mean by freezing it takes a minute for it to like catch up or re realize that it's actually frozen or that the phone is disconnected um, but then again it might be my phone but I have a brand new iPhone so really it's probably not the phone uh, but you can adjust picture quality brightness and all that I mean there's really not many pet peeves on this just a few that I mentioned and here's the screen lighting you got Put it in auto and then you can change the brightness of the light down here and you can change the colors you can change your album art you can center it you can left whatever you want to do so my pros are that it sounds really good I like the flexibility when it comes to the audio. You have many crossover points that you can choose from. Uh, you can also do time alignment. So from that aspect, it's pretty cool. And it's got preset uh, equalization that you can do to your music. Uh, it's got a four volt preamp output. So it's decent. Um, it's pretty competitive. I think Kimberly does five, but Pioneer does four as well. The Bluetooth is pretty responsive. Picks up really good. It sounds real good. Uh, the Apple CarPlay is really good too. It's very responsive. And it is, it, this is a massive screen. So this is only nine inches, guys. But even then, it's still... A pretty big screen um, 
And I do like that you can do the Maestro RR on here. You can set your gauges. Uh, we have a trailer we tow. And when we were up in the mountains, we wanted to keep an eye on our temperature gauge. And uh, it also tells you your zero to 60 if you want to, your braking, your fuel. I only got, it's pretty accurate. You can turn this on. Uh, you can change the gauges. I don't think you can customize this screen very much. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty sweet radio. It sounds really good. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. Um, you can also have an external audio processor hooked up to it and control your music that way. So, anywho, uh, the only thing is, and it might not be the radio, but sometimes when I push buttons, you can you can hear it uh, kind of in the amp. But I'm not sure if that's the radio or the amp, or not the amp, but the subwoofer. But I kind of want to give y'all a look at what the radio has but definitely the sound feature um, is a cool thing to have turn that off oh, I got turned on but anywho I'm gonna get the Pioneer plugged in uh, tomorrow when I get it and uh, that one's a 1080p it's got wireless CarPlay. Oh, another thing. That's another con. It's not wireless uh, Apple CarPlay, which I don't really care <clears throat> because I like charging my phone as I'm driving down the road. But um, yeah, the install is real simple. Um, and you can get Sirius XM. It has HDMI uh, port, so technically I just plug in my lightning adapter to that HDMI port and I can watch videos and movies on the screen so it is a great radio uh, the only reason I'm getting the Pioneer is because I'm getting a really good deal on it otherwise I would not be getting rid of the Alpine Halo 9 but I'm getting the Pioneer because that auto dimming feature illumination feature is I just I gotta have it I'm a Pioneer person too I've had the Avit 7200 in the past, and it was a great radio uh, before it got stolen. Apple CarPlay, vehicle gauges, Let's see there, vehicle gauges. You got the radio. There for Bluetooth, got your settings, you adjust your sound, all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's that.